We are live with you till 6 p.m. I've got my first special guest in the building. Yo. One of the hardest, Yo. hardest, hardest I'm female I'm rappers. Not even female rappers, it's one of the hardest rappers in the game. I'm Make I'm some noise for D-Bell. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Nice to have you here, man. Nice to have you here. So, like I said, hardest, one of the hardest, man. I've been listening to you for a while, and I have to say, your lyrical ability is mad. So, for the listeners who may not know who you are, introduce yourself and let us know. I'm Debo on the social with Debo Brown. Yeah, I'm a rapper from Luton. Nice, nice, nice. From Luton, you know? Yeah. So, would you say that? Like, what was your upbringing like, Francie? What was um, your background like? Just like, just normal upbringing, like, yeah, it wasn't too good, like, it wasn't the worst. But yeah, we just, we get through it. You can hear through my music, like, that's, that's my upbringing, the struggle, the pain, it's all in the music, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And listening to your tracks there, I know that you do rap a lot about your background and the struggles that you face, so yeah. would you say that your background and you know, how life was for you growing up has played a massive part in the way you write and how you conduct yourself with your music. Yeah, hundred percent. It's um yeah, it's the way I express myself so yeah, through the music that's like it's just like my life in bars. And who did you grow up listening to? Uh, I grew up listening to like Wretch, Keto, Kano, Geeks, yeah, Chipmunk, just all these like yeah well known rappers. And then some obviously like D Block, Uncle Murder, and a couple from um, America. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite a contrast in, in music, that. Mm -hmm. What would you describe your tone as? Real rap. Yeah. Real rap. I'm interested. And for those who may have just come across you and may be familiar with you, what would you say about your music? relates to them or how, how what would you say about you can relate to them music wise? Um well definitely like if you live that life like on the road etc you're gonna automatically relate. Um hopefully like right now I feel like my music is it's like how can I put it? I, I'm limited in what I can speak about. I can only speak about like my past experience that like, I haven't lived no high life so mm -hmm. As time goes on, I have more to rap about, but right now it's just like it's my story, so it's for the people to get to know who I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that you do that really well. You know, I think a lot of your music tells you, you can tell about your character through your music, and that's why I want to, you know, kind of give you your props there with your lyrical ability because I do think it's mad. What even got you into music then? Do you know what? As a kid, I always used to like, we always used to freestyle, like, just chilling on the block in that box. It was nothing like too serious. I never really thought, oh, it would be my career. I always knew I was sick of it. Like everyone used to say, oh, deep on your cold. But yeah, I never really thought that. I think, you know what? I think it was just the point in my life, like, yeah, I was just on the road. I really never had time for music. I was like, always doing other things. So it was like, yeah, until, until I think it was like, um, Marx's pen game challenge come around. Okay. And I was like, yeah, let me do it. And then it just went crazy. I think I was out, I didn't have my phone, I come back. My friend just hit me up like, yo, have you seen Instagram? Like, Marks put you up, it's going mad. I just got bare followers in there. Everyone's like, yo, you're cold. I thought, you know what, like, obviously I already knew that I could spit, I had that ability, but like I said, I had other things like, I was just doing bare madness. So that was like the last thing on my mind. But then I thought, you know, it's time to change up. And yeah, from there, I just started making music and it's just gone crazy. Mm -hmm. That's mad, that's mad, because I remember when that pen, pen game challenge dropped and everyone was jumping on it, but there's only really a select few that actually, I would say, body yeah. that. Thank you. What, describe to me what a session is like in the studio. What gets you in there? Uh, in the studio, it all depends, like, on my mood, really. Okay. Like, um, yeah, it all depends on my mood. Sometimes I can go in there. I like to, I like to like, I like to go to studio with stuff already. If I, instead of going there and writing, I like to have stuff already. So I go in there, just put on the beat and spit. Just, and sometimes it's different. Like the last time I went to studio, the beat come on and just started writing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's always different. Yeah. It's always different. So let's talk about the come up. The come up. 
absolute banger. My people. Oh, the actual come up the tune. Yeah, the oh, 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 I want you to come up as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 let's talk about let's talk about both then. Yeah, both. So yeah, how was it? Uh, the, the yeah, that was crazy. The competition. Um, yeah, that was another blessing. Like, I wasn't even gonna go. Mm -hmm. And then I went, and then yeah, long, long story short, I won it, and then yeah, just from then everything just went crazy. Like That's I said. mental, congratulations yeah. on that. Next up, Daily Duffy, I've got fire in the boot, everything that like, in the last year, mm -hmm. it's just been up, up. So yeah, yeah, 2020, hopefully it continues. Bigger and yeah. So, what was the response like when you won the come up? Yeah, it was crazy. Like the actual tune to come up, obviously I dropped that like uh, probably about two months ago now. And when we was at the shows, like I done the tune, I wrote it when we was there at the show. And like the people then with like they was going crazy. Everyone was singing back the, the chorus to me and that, and no one even knew the tune. So yeah, it was mad. And then obviously when it got released, they just went. Went mad, it's still going mad. Like, I'm still getting messages now. Like, yo, the come up, I've just come across it. This tune's crazy. Like, yeah, it's, it's a banger. I'm not surprised. Yeah. So, what was tell me the story behind that then? That track itself behind the track, um, it's just the come up, innit? <laughs> it's just like all the other tracks. It's just like, it's just like what I've been through. I just put it, put it into bars, and yeah, just come up with a banger. The come up, <laughs> that's it. I, like, I can't even explain it. It's just, it's just the struggle. It's just the life, so you just put it into music, and that's what I come up with. And would you say it's just your background and your kind of um, upbringing that, that inspires your bars and when you're writing, or would you think there's other things that contribute to it as well? Um, no, I just think, I just think it's just, yeah, it's just the upbringing and that really, yeah, I, I would say so. Would you say that you channel your pain into your music? Well, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That, yeah, that's the upbringing. That's the pain. You get me? Yeah. You grew up pain. Like it's not been a hard, easy life. So yeah, yeah. You can hear it in the music. <laughs> you get me? I don't know what else to say. No, it's true. Mm. So let's talk fire in the booth. Fire in the booth. Can I just give you a, a round of applause on the mic? Because if you haven't checked out Debo's hype. Fire in the booth, please make sure you do. You bodied that. <laughs> no, you actually bodied that. Literally. And I think even Charlie said it himself that he expected you to come in and be reading off your phone and everything. You freestyled the whole thing. So big you up on that one, I have to say. Yeah. How did that even come about and what was that like for you? You know what? The come up come out and um yeah, Charlie hit up my manager, yo, so yeah, my manager just forwarded me the message, like, yeah, you got fire in the proof, I'm like, no way, I couldn't believe it, like, so obviously I'm thinking, shit, like, I need to rap, I need to do this, that, yeah, and then it just come, when I got there, I wasn't even nervous, like, I went to the Daily Duffy a couple months back, I was kind of, I was a bit nervous when I done it, mm. but, like, when I went to the beat studio with Charlie, it was just like, it was just natural, just come, yeah, just, like he said, he thought I was going to come on my phone, but <laughs> nah, it's all up here, it's still it's all in my head, so yeah, it was cold. It was mad, and even your flow, you didn't even take no breaks, no mistakes, you just kept going and going and going. Yeah. Like, there's many artists, I think, in the game that, you know, they can do, they have the freestyle ability, you know, they can go in the studio and record a banger, but to be able to do it so fluently, yeah. and like you said, it just rolls off your tongue, like, yeah. that's very, very unique, I have yeah. to say. And also, I wanted to touch on the fact, because, because obviously you are a female, yeah. and I don't think there's enough credit to female rappers in the 100%. game. Is that a fair comment? Would you say that's a fair comment to make? Yeah, 100%. I think that like, there's loads of females out there doing their stuff, and they're all sick. And we just don't get the recognition that we deserve. Like even the fire in the booth, so many people, like even rappers, like and I'm talking cold rappers, like Devo, like that's one of the hardest fire in the booths that I've heard in like the last year or two. And like I'm looking at the views and I'm saying the views ain't even going up. But I don't watch views because I know I'm one of the coldest. So regardless of views, I'm gonna keep making music. And like I said, we're gonna see it. 2020, bigger and better things, hundred percent. I mean, that's a whole big platform to be on anyway, and as yeah, I said, you did body it, and it, I agree, it is definitely one of the best I've seen, especially from someone who, how long would you say you've been in the game for, anyway? Um, uh, I've actually, like, I've been in the game, I'd say, like, proper for a year. I dropped my first exactly. video, Pain Freestyle, on my birthday last year, 23rd of November. So, yeah, I'd say a year, and yeah, from a year, yeah, it's been... 
money, it's been crazy. Yeah. I've had mad opportunities. Um, yeah, I'm just grateful, proper grateful. And we're just going to continue at the Definitely, and look how far you've come. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't realise you'd only been in the game. Yeah. That's I a, know some of these haters, these, these rappers be hating, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they be hating, they give me the props that I deserve, but the real ones, mm. they do, like, shout out to Chip, shout out to Get, it's all of them, like, yeah, they show that like, love. Let's, let's touch on to that, actually, because obviously there's always going to be haters in the game, but yeah. what struggles have you faced, especially being, as I said, a female rapper in the UK, in the London scene, what struggles would you say you've come across so far? Or push back. Push back. Um, not many that I can like say like, direct. But I just feel. I just feel like those are opportunities that. You know, I don't even want to sound bad in it, but like I see other people, like other artists, they. Ain't, you know what? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna say that. Like, I don't want to start getting onto people in it. But yeah. No, I told it's, you. It's not man. about. It's like right now, mm. lyrics. It's not, it's not, um, it's not if you're a lyrical, if, you, if you're lyrical, it doesn't really get you far. Like right now, it's like all these stupid songs, like you, you just need something catchy, really. Yeah. Like, yeah, so like I said, right now, I'm just trying to show my side, like my story. Obviously, I've got different songs, like, but it's not time for that. Because it's time to show you me, so I'm gonna stick to what I think is real. And then, yeah, the other stuff will come, but like I said, like, other people get like much more opportunities. Maybe not just because I'm a female, but I don't know. I don't know. The, the game's funny anyway. The industry is very funny. So yeah, I know my team's strong anyway. So shout yeah, out to that's the team. all I gotta say. Yeah, shout out to Come Up, shout out to Judd, Foss, Cads, all of them as well. Yeah, and and you know you touched on a good a good thing there, even with the game itself. I personally believe the game's very one-sided. I don't. I think it's very male-driven. This mm -hmm. is why I wanted to get you up here because I do want people to hear your story. Yeah. And I do want you to be able to speak your truth from your point of view because I personally think it's harder for female rappers. Like, who have we got in the game right now? Miss Banks, Lady Leisha, and they've been in the game for so long, and it's only really no. now yeah. that Ms. people Banks. are jumping. Especially yeah. with Miss Banks, you know, her come up has been mad. And one of the things I wanted to that makes it different as well is they they have quite a bit of a different image to yourself as well yeah. and I think for someone you are kind of sitting in your own lane which is what I really like about you yeah. you don't think you know I need to be like these other women or yeah. anything like that you stick to yourself yeah. what would you do you ever feel a certain pressure sometimes to kind of be like all these other female rappers nah definitely not I just I, I'm trying to be myself I feel like like you said there ain't really no one like me in the UK everyone really compares me to um young MA <clears throat> but yeah, in the UK, <clears throat> yeah, like you said, I sit in my own lane. I don't feel pressured. I don't feel like I need to dress half naked or, you know what I'm saying, to get views and that. Like, I just got to be me and keep it real. That's how it's going to be, 100%. That's really nice. No image change, no nothing like that, man. And you can yeah. see that. You can see the realism from your music and from you. So yeah. definitely, definitely co-sign you on that one. Mm -hmm. So talk to me then. What's next for you? What's next? Um... I don't even know. <laughs> I got so much. Like I got, I've got a couple of videos that are ready to drop. Nice. I don't know if they're gonna drop. Any in particular? Um, I've got, I've got one with uh, Risky Rose. Really? Yeah. So What's that, a collab? That should be out soon. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not gonna say any dates because I don't know if it's coming out like, this year or next. But then yeah, I'm working on the EP. Um, yeah, haven't. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to say. Ooh, I'm really nosy. I like to fish for exclusive. So this EP, is this going to be your first proper project out there? Yeah, that would be like, yeah, my proper first body of work. That's crazy. Yeah. And what's it going to be about without obviously spinning too much? Uh, it's just going to be like, just how it is now. I might like throw like one different kind of track in there. I think I've got like a tribute song for my friend that I might put in there as well. Okay. So it might just be like a mix. It's, all gonna be pain basically with maybe one light junkie track on there, but not not too much of a switch because like I said, people need to know where I am first before I start playing around and giving music like different music and it's mm -hmm. definitely coming though. You wanna set a tone and voice first before contrasting. Yeah. No, I understand that and I think that's a clever move to make as well. So with that being said, obviously you got this collab with Risky Road, yeah. big you up on that one. What was that like working with you? Yeah, that was sick, man. They got a nice little setup. We went down there. It was nice. Man. They got really nice team. Nice people. 
and just touching on the female rappers because obviously I'm a female, I have to support my sisters. Who would who do you kind of F with like right now and who would you want to collab with later on? UK guys. Mm. Oh, or just generally. Yeah. Uh, I like Trinity, I like Alakai, um, Shante Paris, um, my Remy, my girl from Birmingham. Yes, Miss Pants doing her thing, Steph London. Steph London, if you're hearing this, you need to get in the studio and make a banger. Let's go. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steph. Why like, Steph? Um, she's just cold, isn't it? And obviously, she, she's out there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to get out of there. <laughs> it's only rap. So, yes. I definitely think you are a lot ahead of the game before your time. Because the fact that you've only been in it for a year, like a lot of people know about you. You yeah. are definitely out there. And obviously, this fire and abuse is going to get you out there a lot more. Yeah. How do you think you're gonna do you, how do you think your life's gonna change? Because obviously the more clout you get, the more views you get, you know, you start getting the trolls, you start getting the negativity and you're on blast. Do you think that's gonna impact you? No, I'm very strong, strong minded in that sort. You know, I'm good man, I'll just be the same me. The same me, don't matter how much you get what I'm saying, how much money, whatever, I'm the same me, same people around, keep it hundred always. And talk me through live shows. Have you done a live performance yet? Yeah, I done live performance. Um, I was I opened up for Suspect. Nice. That was like last year, and then again this year uh, I performed at Suspect's um, Halloween party. What um, was that like? Yeah, it was sick. Man. It was sick, like, and especially like being up there, like you said, like just coming in and like I'm up there, and then straight after you got like Octavian and. You know what I'm saying? Suspect and then ambush shows. Like, yeah, to be up there with them, it's cold. Like, I've done a couple of festivals last year, shared the same stage as Mars and that, so it's crazy. Oh, that's mad. Yeah, it's mad. So, like, yeah, like I said, the year, it's just been mad. Like, I've had a crazy opportunity. Yeah, it's crazy. How do you feel when you're up there on that stage? Um, it's like, it's like, I feel like I'm home, man. That's what I, you know what I mean? I'm meant to be there. I'm meant to be there 100%. I love you up there. I get off like, yo, I want to go back, I want to go back, like, I get like an adrenaline rush. Yeah, I love being on the stage performing. Yeah. And how do you think the crowd responds to you? Do you know what, crowds are different, like, and I've heard it from so many different rappers, like, oh, all crowds are different. We went, where was I? I went to Cambridge and done a, what I think the event was called Turn Up. I think that was like last year as well, an unknown team that was there, and like obviously before unknown team with me and a couple of others in it, it was like they was kind of stiff but i just give what you know what i'm saying the same performance that i do the crowd was going mad you, you gotta keep the same energy mm -hmm. so all crowds are different like right? at the festival they was all right like at suspects thing yeah like even this year someone would like, come up to me like oh you was that suspects thing last year like yeah you, you smashed it like i'm looking forward to your performance so yeah it's good man it's a good feeling I love performing and I love the, um, the feedback. Do you think you're going to do more shows next year? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Will we be seeing a Debo tour? Anytime soon? Yeah, 100. 100. I hope anyway. Do you know what? I, I, I was at um, Gibbs' tour in Birmingham on Friday mm -hmm. and that was just mad inspirational. It was crazy. Like, really? And I'm thinking, yo, this needs to be me. It was crazy. Yeah, it was sick. Would you say that you're getting a lot of acceptance from a lot of the people in the game right now? Because obviously you're new on, on the books and being a female rapper, like I said before, it's not it's not the same for the new upcoming male artists. So do you think that people are actually supporting you? Especially, you know, you, I know you mentioned obviously Chip and some of the others, but do you feel like you're getting quite a warm acceptance right now? Um, yeah, definitely that. But I know, I know certain rappers like they be seeing my stuff and they just be like, nah, you know, we're not gonna share, we're not gonna like, you get what I'm saying? But that's how it goes, like, yeah. That's yeah, how it goes. Get to you. Yeah. But like, I know, I know every rapper sees my thing, I know 100% every rapper has seen me, heard me, but whether they, whether they get with me or not, you know what I'm saying? Whether they rocking with me or not is up to them, but yeah, I'm here. 
be here for the long run. You know what I'm saying? You can tell that. Mm. You definitely can see that a lot about you. There's so many artists here that just, like you said, anyone can sell good with a good beat, but mm. you actually, I personally think you didn't even need a beat. I reckon you could just freestyle mm. a cappella. So that's mm. why, literally, your talent is mad and it definitely shows through. For any young girl that sat at home who is like you and struggles to kind of be themselves and feel like they need to adapt to other nature, what would you say to them? Um, just be yourself, man. Just be yourself. Don't let people stray you. Don't you get what I'm saying. Don't. Everyone's like. Everyone wants to be like someone else. Like, yeah, just be yourself. It will, it will get you further in life, hundred percent. Just be yourself. Well, I'm definitely co-signing you. Thank you for coming. I'm really, really glad that you came, and I wanted. To, I'm really excited to see where you go next. So, shout out your socials. Uh, Debo Brown, D I B O underscore Brown. Yeah, that's that's all socials. And for anyone listening to this now that hasn't heard of you before, why should they listen to you? You should listen to me because I'm the coldest, the coldest female rapping in the UK, hands down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to stop, but I'm gonna do the sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise, stupid Brown.